What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to build out the blog post page for our app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add the blog post page. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we added the ability to add blog posts. In this video, we're going to actually put those blog posts up on the screen on a page so that we can actually look at them. And in the future, we'll add the ability to click on them and go to specific pages for specific posts. But in this video, we're just going to add this page that sort of lists all of our blog posts. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask Friday videos. Flask Friday, the best day of the week. So check those videos out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our hello.py file. And like I said, in the last video, we created our blog post model and our blog post form that we added the ability to add the post and uh, submit a blog post to the database, save it to the database. In this video, we want to add a page that lists all those blog posts. So uh, we ended the last video, we made a blog post, but we're not sure if it actually got saved to the database because we're not actually putting it up on the screen yet. So that's what we want to do in this video. So eventually we want the blog post page to be the main page of our app. Uh, we're not quite there yet. In this video, we're just going to make it a separate page and then later we'll turn it into the home page of the website. But for now, let's just create a separate page. So let's go at app dot route and let's point this towards like let's call this posts because these are going to be blog posts and so let's define that posts and really we can just right off the bat return we want to render underscore template and let's just point this to like posts dot html so we need to create this page so go ahead and save this so head over to our templates directory, click new file, and let's go file save as. And let's call this posts.html. And so we can click on this add posts page from our last video. And we really kind of want, well, let's just grab all of this stuff and paste it in. We also want to end our block. So we can come down here, grab this end block tag, paste that in as well. So let's create h1 and let's go, I don't know, blog posts, dot, dot, dot. And maybe put a line break here, something like that. So, okay, that's good. So now let's head over to our nav bar. Let's create a link to that. So templates, nav bar, and I'm just gonna navigate down and copy the last one that we created. And instead of add blog posts, let's just call this um, blog posts, or maybe just posts. And this will point to posts, and that's plural. So, okay, let's head back over here. Make sure you're in your C Flask or directory. Make sure your virtual environment is running. Run your Flask run command to make sure the server's running. And then head back over to the website. And when we do this, we see this posts link. And when we click on it, it says blog post. There's nothing listed yet. So, okay, so far so good. We've got the structure there. Now we need the actual blog posts themselves. So head back over here to our hello.py file. And inside of here, we need to grab all of our blog posts. So I'm just going to create a variable called posts and set that equal to something. And maybe we want to comment, uh, grab all the posts from the database. So let's go post equals and we're calling posts dot. Let's just query the database and let's order underscore by uh, let's go posts dot date underscore posted. Because remember our post model up here, we have this date posted column, this field, and this keeps track of when our blog posts were posted. So here we just want to order by that date. And right here, we're calling posts dot query because our model is called posts, right? So we're querying that model. We're grabbing all of this stuff and returning it is this variable posts. So now we just need to pass that to the web page itself. So we can come down here to our return render templates tag and just go posts equal posts. So, okay, that should work. Now let's head back over to our posts.html file. And down here, we need to do a little for loop and loop through all of the posts that these are returning because it's not returning one post, it's returning all the posts. 
So we need to loop through those and print out each one onto the screen one at a time. So we can do some Jinja here. We could go for post in posts, because remember back here, we're passing in posts. So we can reference this thing on this page. So for post in posts, and I always like to end my four right away because otherwise I kind of forget, right? So what do we want to do here? Well, we want various things, right? So this is going to be post dot something. And we probably want a line break. And we've got basically four of these things. So one, two, three, four. So here, this will be the title, the blog title. This will be what the author. This one will be the slug and this will be the content. So go ahead and save this and I'm getting these from the model itself. So if we head back here, we see this is post dot title post dot content post dot author post dot slug. And we can also get the date posted if we want. So might as well. Um, let's say right here. Let's go post dot date underscore posted. Looks good. Okay. We can get the ID as well, but we don't really need that. So, okay, I think that looks good. Let's put another line break here. And okay, let's go ahead and save this. Head back over to the website and click on this post again. And this is my first blog post. We only have one, so let's create another one. This is my, or let's just say, second post. Woohoo! Author is John Elder again. And let's say, uh, I like cheese for the slug. Why not? And this is my very second blog post. What do you think of it? <laughs> right? Okay, so let's go ahead and submit this post submitted successfully form gets returned. Now if we go to our post page, we see second post first post, it's ordering them in the order of date posted. So that's cool. Okay, so this doesn't look great so far. And we could play around with this, you know, a bunch of different ways, we could come back over here. And maybe we could put a horizontal line rule HR. And another line break. I don't know, that looks not that great. Yeah, it's a little better, but eh, still not great. We could play around with this stuff. So let's get rid of that. That's just silly. We could go, I don't know, like h2 create an h2 tag for the title make it bigger. And then we could say by and then maybe we want this post date posted first. And then all like that. I don't know. Whatever you like. Yeah, by John Elder, its date is not great. We could play around with that first post. And eh, there that is. Uh, I don't know. What we can do is head back over here to our ad post page, and we had this little bit of bootstrap div, we can add that. So let's come through here. And inside of here, we could just put that. And then we need to close that div. And then let's put a line break beneath it. So now we can come back here. Oh, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And maybe you want the date, maybe you don't. I don't know, we could leave it out if we want, you're not necessarily you're probably not going to use this slug, right? So let's just take that slug off, we'll use that for something else later on. And maybe we want another line break there. I don't know. I'm <laughs> just sort of playing at this point. Right? Uh, let's see, can we use the small tag here? Maybe? Save this come back hit reload. Okay, that's a little bit smaller now. I don't know, whatever you like, play around with this, make it look however you like, and we'll get into this later on making these look nicer. But for now, we just want to make sure that they're on the screen. And this is very big. And I don't know, maybe you want that maybe you don't, I think probably we would take that out. Hit reload. Yeah, I don't know. I do kind of like that line break there, though. So let's put that back, save that head back, hit reload. Eh, that's a little better. And okay, we're coming right along. So that's how you add things to the page. We've already done this in the past with ad users. But I wanted to put it in here just in case you didn't see the previous videos or you needed a refresher or something, uh, but very easy to do. You know, we just 
pass in in the page itself right here, this post where we've queried the database, then we just pass it in as post equal posts. And then on the page itself, we just reference that post right here, we loop through it. And then it's just this post here, post.title, post.author, post.date posted, post.content. And again, that stuff is we're getting it straight out of the database itself. And our model right here, you know, title, content, author, date posted, slug, all that stuff comes right out of there. And it's just that easy. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. We pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com. I'll see you in the next video.